This woman's name is Juwita. She worked as a call center in a service application for lonely men. Juwita wanted to do this job because it didn't require the talent for having a beautiful face and ideal body. All it took was her voice to seduce and accompany the lonely men with wild fantasies. But this was just Juwita's side job. So to keep her privacy, Juwita changed her name to Maor Merendu. Jupiter was a kind-hearted, humble, cheerful, and hardworking woman. She really enjoyed her current life, but sometimes she felt sad when her friends bullied her because of her overweight body. However, Juwita tried to ignore it. Now she's only focused on making money for his father's medication. Every day, Juwita accompanied many weird men by telephone. There was a doctor who became her loyal client. Every night, the doctor always uses the application and listens to Juwita's voice while having wild fantasies and dirty talk. Juwita was destined to have a good voice and she also likes to sing. Therefore, Juwita did her main job at a music label company as a singer. But unfortunately, she was just a ghost singer and just sings backstage. This was because the company only needed Juwita's voice to help the famous pop singer named Eva. Eva was a talent who was being promoted as a singer. She had a beautiful face and ideal body, but she was arrogant and her voice wasn't that great so she just lip sync on the stage. And because of that, Juwita became a ghost singer for Eva. That night, Eva was holding her first show. Juwita was there helping Eva by singing behind the scenes. But there was a small incident when Juwita sang while dancing and she was carried away by the song. As a result, her foot tripped over a cable causing her to fall. Fortunately, the incident was resolved and Juwita returned to singing until the show was over. Because of the incident, Eva was angry with Juwita because something like that could make her first show fail. When the show was over, Full of emotion, Eva approached Juwita and immediately scolded her. Not only that, Eva also insulted Juwita's physique. At that time, Juwita could only apologize and explain what happened, that she tripped over a cable and it made her fall. But Eva warned Juwita not to dance anymore and asked her to just focus on singing. Not long after that, the music producer, Ander, approached Juwita and asked how she was from the incident earlier. Not only that, Ander also thanked Juwita as a form of appreciation because she had worked hard to make the show succeed. Ander thanked Juwita, while hugging her, and it made her big-headed. She thought that Ander liked her. A few moments later, Juwita was with her best friend, Yara, in a restaurant. Juga always tells Yara about her life. Juwiga, who had an overweight body, always eats in very large portions. It could be seen when at the restaurant, Juwita kept ordering food until the waiter got annoyed because he had to go back and forth to deliver food. At this moment, Juwita confidently told Yara that Ander seemed to like her because after the show, Andrew suddenly came and immediately hugged her. Hearing this, Yara immediately denied it because there were many beautiful women who approached Andrew and of course, Andrew would choose one of these women. Meanwhile, with Juwita's appearance like this, Andrew couldn't possibly like her. Yara also warned Juwita not to like someone too quickly because someone might take advantage of her. For a moment, Juwita was silent after hearing Yara's words. Then suddenly, she remembered her past when she was still in college. At that time, Juwita liked someone but unfortunately, she was only used to doing his assignments. Juwita was so disappointed that she wanted to end her life by taking a large amount of sedatives. But luckily Juwita didn't die, she just fell asleep on the floor for a long time. But the people around her thought that she had died. Juwita was very sad when she remembered this, but she had to stay strong to take care of her father who was sick. After dinner they went home, but on the way home they took the time to get a tattoo as a sign of their friendship. Of the many tattoo images, Juwita was interested in one image called Hakuna Matata, which means that everything will be fine. After finishing the tattoos, it went straight home. The next day after finishing work, Andrew asked Juwita to go home together. At this moment, Andrew invited Juwita to come to his birthday party, which will be held at a club. Juwita was very happy to accept the invitation, and she promised to come to Andrew's birthday party. After that, Juwita asked to be dropped off somewhere on the grounds and said that she was going to a friend's apartment. While in fact, she wanted to visit her father who was treated in a psychiatric hospital. Juwita kept this a secret from everyone except Yara, because she didn't want people to know about her family's condition. After Juwita left, apparently her diary was left in Andrew's car and he also had time to see the contents of that book. Juwita arrived at the hospital and her father's condition was very alarming. It was discovered that after Juwita's mother died, Juwita's father was stressed and he was mentally ill. Then Juwita took her father to the psychiatric hospital for treatment hoping that her father would get well soon. Currently, Juwita's father no longer recognizes Juwita and thinks that she was his wife. Even though her father was currently ill, Juwita still loved him and she always worked hard to pay for her father's medication. At this moment, Juwita told her father that she was now a singer. Even though Juwita only became a ghost singer, she was happy because her dream of becoming a singer had been achieved. 
And after that, Juvia confidently told her father that she was close to her boss at the office. Juvia asked her father's blessing so that Amber could be her soulmate. After visiting her father, Juvia then returned home. The next morning, Juvia received a gift from Ander. It was a dress that Juvia would use to attend Ander's birthday party. Again, Juvia told Yara that her feelings said that Ander liked her. And in the evening, Juvia came to Ander's birthday party wearing the dress given by Ander. Here, Juvia invited Yara to attend the party. With great pleasure, Juvia immediately approached Ander and sat down next to him while giving him birthday wishes. After that, Ander's older brother Richard asked Juvia to take off her coat. Innocently, Juvia took off her coat, but that would only show her fat body because the dress she was wearing was too tight. Not long after that, the situation became chaotic when Eo came wearing the same dress as Juvia. When Ander gave the dress to Juvia, Eva's assistant found out about it. Then Eva deliberately bought the same dress and she wore it to insult Juvia. Eva felt prettier than Juvia, and she was the one who deserved to wear that dress. Eva's attitude hurt Juvia, so she immediately left the club. Andrew didn't like when Juvia was humiliated in front of other people, then he rebuked Eva. But here, Eva actually thought it was just a joke because she hated Juvia, who tried to get close to Andrew. Hearing this, Andrew became very angry, and he told Eva that it was Juvia who had helped him until now. Without Juvia, Eva was nobody. Juvia has talent and also a good voice. It's just that she's not pretty and her body was overweight. If only Juvia was beautiful and had an ideal body, surely she would become a famous singer. Unfortunately, their debate was overheard by Juvia, and she misinterpreted Andrew's words, which at that time Andrew was defending Juvia in front of Eva. Juvia thought that she was just an ugly and big woman unlike Eva, who has a beautiful face and has an ideal body. Because of Andrew's words, Juvia intended to end her life by taking a large amount of sedatives. But when she was about to do that, suddenly there was a call from the lonely man application and connected to Juwita's client who was a doctor, and he wanted to invite Juwita to talk. Well, this was where Juwita got an idea regarding her problem and she made no intention of ending her life. The next day, Juwita went to an aesthetic clinic to change her appearance. At that time, she consulted with a plastic surgeon, Dr. Eric. The doctor told Juwita that plastic surgery costs a lot. Juvita realized that she didn't have much money, but she tried to negotiate so that the payment could be paid in installments. Unfortunately, the doctor refused and kicked Juvita out of the clinic. But Juvita, who had the ambition to change her appearance, then showed the recording of Dr. Eric's voice seducing her through the Lonely Man application. The doctor was one of the clients who always contacted Maor to be with him every night. Dr. Eric was immediately shocked when he found out that Maor was a fat woman who was currently in front of him. With a little threat, Juwita asked for help again from Dr. Eric so that she can change her appearance to be more beautiful and have an ideal body. And finally, with a heavy heart, Dr. Eric agreed to change Juwita's appearance. After that, Juwita went to see her father to say goodbye because for the next few months, she couldn't visit him. A few days later, it was time for Juwita to have plastic surgery and liposuction. After she underwent the operation, no one knew about it. She just disappeared without telling anyone. Of course, this made Andrew frustrated because he needed Juwita's voice to boost Eva's popularity. As a result, all of Eva's shows were cancelled. The recording of Eva's album had to be postponed until they found someone who sounded similar to Juwita. Eva was annoyed because the recording of her album was postponed and she was looking for Juwita and came to her apartment. But Juwita was not there. Eva even found a file showing the place where Juwita's father was being treated. It crossed Eva's mind to ask for information from Juwita's father. Eva also thought that it was likely that Juwita would visit her father in the hospital. After that, Eva invited Andrew to go to the hospital where Juwita's father was. With hope, Juwita's father could tell where Juwita was currently. When they arrived at the hospital, it was seen that Juwita's father couldn't cooperate well because he had a mental disorder. Because they didn't get information about Juwita's whereabouts, they immediately left. A few months later, Juwita's plastic surgery went well and the results were extraordinary. Juwita managed to turn herself into a beautiful woman and had an ideal body. Juwita felt like a dream, but now she was more confident with her new appearance. One day, Juwita went to the mall after a few months in the hospital until she recovered from the surgery. At that time, Juwita accidentally met Ander and Eva. There, Eva was selling pans because she had never appeared as a singer anymore. Juwita just watched them from a distance. After a few months disappeared, finally Juwita met Yara again at the police station. Previously, she experienced an incident on the road where she crashed into a taxi and then she was checked further because her face was different from the photo on her driver's license. That's why Yara was called to justify this matter. At first, Yara didn't recognize Juwita because all she knew was that Juwita had a big body. But in the end, Yara believed that the girl in front of her was Juwita because she saw the tattoo on Juwita's waist. 
And after that, they went to a restaurant for dinner. At the restaurant, Yoro told Juwita that the release of Eva's album had to be postponed because they had not found someone who had a similar voice to Juwita. Hearing that, Juwita was planning to audition as Eva's shadow singer, and she could get close to Andre again. But she wanted to use a different identity, so people wouldn't know that she's actually Juwita. Not long after, Yara's boyfriend, Risky, came to meet Yara. But when Yara was going to introduce Juwita to her boyfriend, she immediately changed Juwita's name to Angel. And from here, Juwita finally played a new character named Angel. Risky was a slim and product salesman. He always forced Yara to buy and consume the product he offered. Yara loved her boyfriend so much that she never refused when Risky asked her to buy the slimming product. When Risky was receiving a call, Juwita tried to forbid Yara to take the slimming product because for her, Yara's body was ideal and she didn't need to take that product. And then Juwita also told Yara that in the slimming product, there may be harmful ingredients. Hearing that, Yara could only answer slowly. She was forced to take the slimming product because Risky always said that Yara looked fat. The next day, Juwita auditioned to become Eva's shadow singer. But here, she changed her identity to Angelica. Then Juwita began to show her ability to sing. And who would have thought that she had passed the audition and officially joined the company as Angelica? Angelica's beauty and her golden voice made Ander and Richard want to launch her as a newcomer singer, no longer as Eva's ghost singer. Then they both tried to negotiate with their father, who was the owner of the company, to appoint Angelica as a newcomer singer. At first, their father didn't agree with the idea because their father thought that only Eva had the potential to be a beautiful and sexy singer and loved by many people. Meanwhile, Angel was only a ghost singer for Eva. However, Andrew and Richard kept trying to convince their father that Angel had her own charm that everyone would like. After seeing their efforts to promote Angel, finally their father agreed. And here, Juwita made her first single and also the video clip. Then the first song started to be launched and everyone can enjoy it. After Juwita's first song was released in a short time, the song was in first position on the best songs charts in Indonesia. This made Eva feel that she had a rival, so she kept trying to find Juwita at the hospital hoping that Juwita's father would tell Juwita's whereabouts. At the hospital, Eva called Ander and said that she would keep trying to find Juwita, so that her second album could be released as soon as possible. But Andrew was angry and told Eva to practice vocals, so she wouldn't depend on other people's voices. Andrew's response made Eva annoyed. While screaming, she vented her frustration. On the other hand, Juwita's father suddenly appeared and gave advice which made Eva speechless after hearing that advice. One time, Juwita recorded her second song, but at that time, her performance wasn't optimal. Then, Andrew showed a video. It was the video when Juwita auditioned for the first time to become a ghost singer for Eva. But at this moment, Andrew still didn't realize that Angelica is Juwita. Here, Andrew told Angelica to listen to Juwita's singing method, which was full of emotion so that the song felt good to be heard. It's different when Andrew heard Angelica sing, which was just not really serious. Then Juwita tried to ask Andrew if she should sing like a fat woman in the video. Hearing this, of course, Andrew immediately reprimanded Angelica because for Andrew, Juwita was a special person for him. From that statement, Juwita immediately became silent and moved. She just found out that Andrew thought she was special, even though her body was overweight and not beautiful. Juwita felt sorry because she lied and changed her identity to Angelica. It crossed her mind to end this disguise and admit who she really was to Andrew. That morning, Juwita asked for Yara's opinion. But here, Yara told Juwita, that not all men want to accept a woman who has had plastic surgery. Yara's words offended Juwita, and there was a debate between them. Then Juwita told Yara that her boyfriend was only using her to buy the slimming products he was selling. Juwita then asked Yara to stop using those slimming products because it could be harmful for Yara's health. Yara didn't like Juwita's words. While crying, Yara immediately left. Yara's statement that not all men like women who have had plastic surgery turned out to be true. When Juwita met Ander, she didn't tell him about her true identity because previously, she asked for Ander's opinions about a woman who changed herself with plastic surgery, and Ander's answer made her sad because Ander likes natural women without plastic surgery. This is what made Juwita not brave enough to tell everything. The next day, when Juwita was in the office, she accidentally heard Eva practicing vocals in the studio. Juwita approached Eva and they talked, in which Eva said that she would get rid of Angelica from the music industry. Hearing this, Juwita conveyed an advice which is the same as her father said, because of the advice Angelica gave, Eva got a clue about Juwita's current whereabouts. The next day, Juwita received news that Yara was hospitalized due to an overdose of slimming products. And that same day was the first day Juwita appeared live on television, but Juwita chose to visit her best friend at the hospital. At the hospital, the doctor informed Juwita that Yara had nearly died from consuming the slimming product. Then the doctor asked Yara to stop taking the product so that something like this would not happen again. 
It was the deep sadness that Juwita felt when she saw her best friend stick. And this was because Yara's boyfriend used Yara to buy the slimming products. It turned out that at that time, Risky came to visit Yara. Dubina took out her anger on Risky for forcing Yara to buy the products he was selling. Then Juvena threatened Risky to stay away from Yara and never offer the slimming products again because Yara could be killed for taking it. Risky was silent when Juwita scolded him. But because of that incident, Juwita and Yara's friendship got better. After making sure that her best friend was okay, Juwita then returned to the studio because she was going to appear on television for the first time. At this first appearance, Juwita made it through perfectly. Everyone enjoyed the song performed by Juwita, and people already knew Angelica as a newcomer singer. Her success was then celebrated with Ander. At this moment, it could be seen that Ander has started to like Angel and until now, she has not revealed who she really is. When Ander was called by his father, Juwita waited alone while drawing a tattoo mark on her waist. Then she started to get sleepy and fell asleep on the sofa. Well, this is where Ander finally found out who Angelica really is after he saw Angelica's drawing and he remembered the same picture in Juwita's diary. A few days later, Richard and Ander throw a celebration party for the success of Angelica's first album. But here, Ander looked ignorant because he already felt lied to by Juwita. After that, Eva came with someone who claimed to be Angelica's big fan. Of course, this made Juwita surprised because at that time, Eva actually brought Juwita's father. There, Juwita was speechless and she didn't want to approach her father. She even pretended not to recognize her own father. Of course, Juwita's attitude made Yara angry. And then she took Juwita's father away from there. After the incident, Juwita came to see Andrew to reveal her true self. But here, Andrew already knew who Angelica really was. Hearing Andrew's words, Juwita apologized while giving reasons why she changed herself. While crying, Juwita said that she changed herself because of Andrew's words when he talked with Eva. At that time, Andrew said that if only Juwita was beautiful and had an ideal body, then she would be the singer. And because of his words, Juwita felt hurt and she was already tired of getting mocked by everyone because of her overweight body. Juwita realized what she was doing was wrong, but she did this solely to change her life for the better than before. Andrew, who heard Juwita's confession, felt guilty and he tried to calm down Juwita because she had to prepare her condition to perform at her first concert. After confessing her emotions, Juwita left there to rest because tomorrow, she will perform at her first concert. The next day, this was the moment where Angelica's character ends. When Juwita started singing, suddenly her father came with Eva and he got on stage to join in the dance. Then, when Richard wanted to pull Juwita's father, Juwita suddenly stopped the concert and allowed her father to stay on the stage. And after that, Juwita took advantage of this moment to apologize to all her fans and she revealed her true identity. Calmly, Juwita began to tell about her life journey that used to have an overweight body and became the object of everyone's mockery. Even though Juwita was treated like that, she still pursued her dream of becoming a singer, which at first she became a ghost's singer. Then Juwita also introduced her father who was currently ill after her mother died. Because of Juwita's confession, it made everyone touched and in the end they all gave support for Juwita to become a successful singer. Time passed and now Juwita has succeeded in achieving her dream of becoming a singer. Not only that, Juwita was also in a relationship with Ander. On the other hand, Eva was no longer a singer and she has switched professions to become a YouTuber and create some content to become a beggar. But unfortunately, she was caught by the municipal police and after that, the film ended. This is a remake from a Korean film with the same title and has the same plot as the Korean version. Initially, the film was an adaptation of a Japanese manga. This film starred Sifa Haju, Baskara Mahendra, Elisa Dagais, and several other artists.